folks, this is Gary, one of the good people over at t-shirthelpdesk.com and uh, we wanted to do this video to kind of explain to you guys the difference between the generic kind of inexpensive t-shirt transfers that you get from a store like Walmart or Staples as opposed to the screen printed plastisol heat transfers that are becoming really popular right now and um, it's really a hands-on look at the difference and what you can use to start your t-shirt business so here we go on to the video thanks a lot guys and remember t-shirthelpdesk.com peace so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just cut this off. okay you guys um, Okay, so here we go. I have an older t-shirt here, uh, just a plain old white 100% cotton t-shirt that I've, you know, had around. And this is our transfer. This. So, you can see this is printed backwards. I'm just going to put it right here in the, kind of in the center of this shirt. And um, oh, this silly... Alright, okay. Feels pretty good. Um, feels a little rubbery. Um, it feels very rubbery. You know what I'm saying? But this is something that you buy, you know, at a local you know, Staples or Walmart. Uh, I got this from Office Max, and it's the same exact, um, same exact. This is a from Office Max and it's the same exact transfer as Avery okay and this is and this is Avery right here so they're pretty much the same thing but you're gonna see something and I'm gonna see if I can uh, and anyone who knows about this knows it very well you see why I cut this right you can see the cotton fiber right here and then you see around here I don't know if you can see that really good there's something called a polymer film and that's the part of the paper that's not cut okay so you have to cut it in, in, in you know professional terms is called weeding. If you don't want that, you have to cut around each individual letter. And it gives a very unprofessional but if you're look, a professional I mean, and you're gonna be out selling stuff to people at street fairs, markets, flea markets, um, swap meets, um, online, God forbid, you don't want to use something like this. This is for fun use only like you know you you you're going to the Jets game or you know the 49ers game and you have your own personal t-shirt that you made up and it's really cool do something like that but for professional use to like take out and sell to people I would not suggest this okay I really would not suggest this you know it just it looks like you printed something on your home printer cut it out it looks it looks exactly like um, what I just did it looks exactly like what I just did I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch this you see I just stretched this you see how that's uh, how I just made the oh, okay let me see if I can I'm gonna stretch this and I don't know if you guys can see those uh, get it to focus in. I just stretch that and uh, it doesn't really come back after you stretch it you know and you see that wrinkle I just put in that by stretching it that's not that's not really coming out now would you stretch it like that but if you were to buy like a nice water-based print you, you couldn't do that to it you know you couldn't do that and get it those 
the, you know, you couldn't give it that wrinkle right there. Um, you know, and God forbid you put an iron on top of this. Again, I do not suggest you put an iron on top of this. This thing is going to melt. You know what I'm saying? And whatever money you spent is going to go away. So this is really, really cool. Really cool for fun purposes. Fun personal use. Fun personal use. Not professional use. It is not the business. Okay. Is a screen printed plastisol heat transfer okay this is a heat transfer alright this is very different than the stuff I just showed you which was the stuff that you kinda get at like Walmart or uh, Kmart or like Office Max or Staples or something like that this was screen printed okay the same process that they use to screen print a t-shirt but they screen print it on this special paper right here. This special paper holds the ink, right? And it holds it so that it can be transferred, all right, through the mail or what have you. And then when you get it, you can transfer it to your T-shirt, all right? And you cannot use an iron, okay? You must use a heat press machine, okay? I have right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a heat press machine right here and um, you just have to use one you cannot exert the same amount of heat and the same amount of pressure over this entire control area you just can't do it all right now you can try it you can go have some of these made okay spend the money have them sent and use an iron and sit there and be disappointed or you can take my word for it and you know invest in a heat press machine now this is um this is my heat press machine i have my t-shirt already there all right um this is something that you really need to get you have to get okay um when you think about this in terms of an investment okay when you think about this in terms of an investment um, when you think about this in terms of an investment, if you were, let's just say, to buy a DTG machine, uh, a used one can cost you five to six thousand dollars, and uh, if you, you know, if you want to buy a new one, they can cost you anywhere from seven to ten, uh, fifteen. I've even seen them for as high as nineteen thousand um, dollars. If you have that kind of money, go right ahead. But guess what? Uh, after you use the DTG, in order to cure the ink. You still have to have a screen, uh, a, a, a heat press. You still, so you have to buy a heat press anyway. If you want to get into, let's just say, screen printing business, okay, you have to buy a screen printing machine. You know, depending on the uh, whether you're going to get an automatic or one that you use your hand, uh, how many colors you're going to get. You need at least, you know, a five color machine to do a four color process because you have to have the white flash. Um, You are looking at anywhere from two to five thousand dollars, maybe even seven thousand dollars on the new machine. Then you have to have a, um, a flash dryer, okay? Then you also may want to get a heater cure, a heat cure um, that can cost you fifteen hundred to two thousand uh, dollars. The flash dryer can cost you about a hundred and fifty to three hundred bucks. Um, then you have to have a dryer box to dry all your machines. You can make one, and you could, that, that one's going to cost you about three, four, five hundred bucks. And you have to have uh, a light box to shoot um, all of your artwork. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to have all of your screens, in which you know you can buy wood screens, and or you can buy aluminum screen. And then of course you have to have all your mesh. You have to have high, a high. Um, a uh, high count mesh and a low count mesh for different things and then you have to learn the process of screen printing this is a relatively simple process so I don't have any problem with any of, the, with any of those processes as a matter of fact um, if we cover them all at the t-shirt help desk you know what I'm saying any one of our associates can help you 
but I'm going to show you the simplest and easiest way. You make your artwork no matter what it is, you find one of our vendors and we can um, point you in the right direction of any of the vendors where you can get one of these made. Uh, we can also point you in the direction if you want to have original artwork done, we can get you a, 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 a relatively um, a very reasonable graphic designer to work on something like this for you. Everything, you know, go to the t-shirthubdesk.com. But I'm going to show you how this is done and how simple it is. And all you need is a heat press, okay, your imagination, and some t-shirts, all right? And the rest, you just send away for these, and you get them in the mail. And uh, it's going to go. So come on over here. Let's show you. Okay, so first things first, you're going to take this bad boy and you're going to just, you, I already have my t-shirt laid out right here, it's a green t-shirt, and you just want to, light pressure, just hit this bad boy and just, you know, give it some heat, get the moisture out of it, and get any wrinkles out of it, okay? Alright, beautiful. Now you want to take this, your beautiful artwork, you want to slide it right on top of here, get it nice and even there, I'm going to show you guys now. Half your work is already done. Now this is the deal right here. We're going to do this. This is at about 380 to 400 degrees. We're going to do it for just 10 seconds, okay? Now this is what I mean when I say, okay, pressure. Once I lock this bad boy down, you see this whole thing? The pressure's over the entire thing. And see, I have to pull that thing down. You can't get that kind of pressure, okay? You just cannot get that kind of pressure. And you can't take an iron and hold it over the entire thing going back and forth to hold this down, this all of this pressure evenly at one time. You just cannot do it. Okay, so it's about 10 seconds here. And this is very important. Okay, that bad boy's still steaming. Okay, you want to get that thing off? All right. And you want to peel this while it's hot. Beautiful. Now, of course, you can see a whole lot more of the colors had you put this on a white t-shirt. But I wanted to give that really vintage that really like vintage old school muted kind of a look okay can you see this guys this is a and if you I wish you guys can feel how soft this is alright this is a beautiful this is something that you can sell online this is something that could be sold at a Nordstrom's or a Macy's or any um, uh, national retailer alright this is beautiful. And you did not have to spend ten thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nineteen thousand dollars to get into this business. Okay. You just sh shipped your artwork away. All right, you shipped your artwork away and you have a heat press machine. And that is it. That I mean that's your business. So please come on over to the uh T shirt help desk. And let us help you, you know, let us help you. Let us help you get into this wonderful multi-billion dollar t-shirt industry, man. You know, th this, this economy is really telling us that we must be entrepreneurs. We cannot allow our livelihood to be in the hands of others. We just can't. All right, guys? So thank you so very much for watching. I wish you the best of luck with all your endeavors. And please hit us up at the t-shirthelpdesk.com. Uh, my name is Gary. I'm one of the beautiful, wonderful, helpful people <laughs> over at the t-shirthelpdesk.com. Thank you for watching. Um, God bless you. Peace.